Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and no bumper, we're going to get right into it. 133 favorite artists, I rank their discographies, live experience, books, movies, documentaries, just how much do I care about these people? Why 133? That's just, I made the list, and that's just where it stopped, and today is number 100. So we're breaking into the top 100 artists, and this is... Uh, a male artist. Oh, by the way, uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. I also have a Patreon link before uh, below. You can uh, support me there. I appreciate it. And, you know, uh, this series, I just, I love it. I love rankings. I just love when people rank albums and rank artists. And here we've got uh, someone, I've got the playlist below too. I made an 80-minute playlist of every artist, including this one. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, lived all over the United States. His dad was in the military. I just read, I didn't know this, he may have been exposed to mustard gas as a boy. Yeah. And uh, this is someone who played the bicycle on the Steve Allen show in the 1960s. But he's best known for being a California artist. Uh, grew up and went to school in San Diego. And uh, yeah, rest in peace. He only lived, I think, to 52 years of age. He died of prostate cancer. We are talking about the great Frank Zappa. Yeah, Frank Zappa. And that's his real name. That's not a made-up name. Big fan. Um, have I seen him in concert? Yes. Yes, I saw him in concert in October 1980. It was the, not the uh, Joe's Garage Tour or something, uh, around that time. And you can listen to a lot of those tracks on an album called Tinseltown Rebellion. So yeah, 1980, it was cool. I remember he would, um, when he played a guitar solo, he would, they allowed him to smoke, believe it or not. He would take a cigarette out. He would put it in the fret, in the frets of his guitar, and then just burn on a solo, and then take the cigarette back out and put it in his mouth. And he would let the band play about half the show, and he just soloed and sang. So anyway, uh, big fan. Here's my uh, everything I've got in my collection. Most of these are on the Ryko disc, and this is uh, a twofer CD. This is We're Only In It For The Money and Lumpy Gravy. So, and yeah, I wanted to uh, show these to you in sequence. So let me get the first one here. Uh, actually, the first one that I own chronologically is Freak Out. And I haven't even put that in a, I've still got that in the jewel box. These Ryko CDs are really cool. Uh, a lot of people were not happy with the audio quality, including Frank. But, um, yeah, I like these. They sound fine to me. And so, yeah, uh, Susie Cream Cheese, what's got into you? Yeah. <laughs> so, Freak Out, we're only in it for the money and lumpy gravy. I've got uh, Hot Rats, which is a fantastic album. Um, that features Captain Beefheart, and it's got a violin player. It's not Jean-Luc Pony, I don't think. It's, um, I don't know, Sugarcane Harris or somebody. And then another double CD. This is Apostrophe and Overnight Sensation. Let's see if you can see that. So that's really cool. And then his album he made with Captain Beefheart called Bongo Fury. Love that album. You'd think I he'd be higher than 100, right? I've got Zoot Allures. I've got Shake Your Booty. Pun on the word shake. Like a chic or a shake. Shake Your Booty. So that's cool. And then, um, one, you know, this one is kind of a jazz album. This is Broadway the Hard Way. And this features a uh, sting on one track. They do murder by numbers. And then I have Boulet conducts Zappa. And this one I bought recently, and I have to admit I've I've not listened to this yet. Um, 
But yeah, perfect stranger. Cool. So Pierre Boulet, rest in peace also. He was a great conductor and composer. And then I've got a couple magazines. When he died, I got this issue of Musician Magazine. Do you guys, any of you remember Musician? So this is uh, 1940 to 1993. And it's a tribute uh, magazine. And it's it's not all about Frank, but he's the cover article. And they devoted the cover to him. And then I've got uh, Mojo's Ultimate Music Guide, uh, which goes through his 93, uh, 94, look at this, 94 Zappa albums reviewed. Yeah. So I've got quite a bit here, I think, of material. And big fan. So uh, on my... Um, playlist it's only 14 songs so let me just rattle them off to you real quick and these are the songs i chose help i'm a rock who needs the peace corps willie the pimp cosmic debris which he did when i saw him inca roads fantastic song one of my all-time favorites muffin man black napkins Flakes, California's got a host of them. I swear they got the most of them. <laughs> Rat Tamago, which is an instrumental that just burns. Why Does It Hurt When I Pee? A very funny song. Watermelon and Easter Hay, Baby Snakes Live, You Are What You Is, and his cover of Oliver Nelson's Stolen Moments. So, yeah interesting artist you know a video that if you've never seen it he did um a live performance of stairway to heaven yeah awesome so that's it i don't want to make the video too long uh as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia let me know what you think i love your comments <laughs>